A source telling CNN that President-elect Donald Trump will nominate yet another general to his cabinet, retired Marine General John Kelly, who will helm the Department of Homeland Security pending Senate confirmation. Also today, President-elect Trump saying his Secretary of State pick could come as early as next week. And Mitt Romney is still apparently in the running. Trump also said today he's honored to be named Time Magazine's Person of the Year, but he did take some issue with the subhead tucked underneath his name, President of the Divided States of America, it says. Trump denied he's done anything to divide the country. Okay. Trump this morning also taking credit for the huge market rally since his election four weeks ago. The Dow Jones Industrial Average today closing at 19,547 points, more than 1,200 points above where it was on November 8th. CNN's Jason Carroll is live outside Trump Tower. And Jason, the Trump transition team also confirmed that Trump has tapped Iowa Governor Terry Branstad to be the next ambassador yeah. to China. Why Governor Branstad? Well, there are a couple of reasons for that. This is a man, this is a governor who's had a long-standing relationship with the Chinese president since 1985. The thought is because of that relationship, perhaps he can smooth over some of the fallout from that controversial call that Trump had with the Taiwanese leader. Trump, for his part, though, Jake, says that he's feeling lucky that he made the cover of Time magazine. President-elect Donald Trump can add another title to his name, Time Magazine Person of the Year. It's a great honor. It means a lot. But look closely at the cover. The caption calls him President of the Divided States of America, a moniker Trump told NBC News is not his fault. I didn't divide them. They're divided now. I mean, there's a lot of division. And we're going to put it back together, and we're going to have a country that's very well healed. Trump took that same message on the road Tuesday night at a rally in North Carolina. We will heal our divisions and unify our country. When Americans are unified, there is nothing we cannot do. Nothing. No task is too great, no dream too large, no goal beyond our reach. The president-elect's goal right now, piecing together his administration. CNN confirms Trump will name retired Marine General John Kelly, the former head of Southern Command, as his Homeland Security Secretary. Today, he also named Iowa Governor Terry Branstad as his ambassador to China. One of the reasons Branstad has a decades-long relationship with Chinese President Xi Jinping. As for the Secretary of State job, no decision yet. Trump saying Mitt Romney is still in the running and insists he isn't stringing the former rival along. No, it's not about revenge. It's about what's good for the country. We had some tremendous uh, difficulty together, and now uh, I think we've come a long way. But it's not just his cabinet. Trump is also calling out companies who he says are making bad deals for America, like Carrier and Boeing. And I hope I'm judged from the time of the election as opposed to from January 20th, because the stock market has had a tremendous bounce and people are seeing very good things for business in this country. Trump threatened Tuesday to cancel Boeing's deal to build a new Air Force One, tweeting in part that costs are out of control. Since then, Trump says he's talked to Boeing's CEO and both agreed to work it out. We're going to get the prices down, and if we don't get the prices down, we're not going to order them. We're going to stay with what we have. Today, Trump also met with Chicago mayor and former Obama White House chief of staff, Rahm Emanuel. One about uh, White House operations uh, what, and how to make that work. Second, we also discussed uh, immigration. Emmanuel's former boss, President Obama, is also on Trump's call list, telling NBC News that he and the current president have talked several times, asked for his advice, and takes his recommendations seriously. The president is uh, responsive to um, you know, requests and phone calls from the president-elect. He's certainly pleased that he can uh, offer uh, advice and assistance that may be useful to the incoming administration. And Trump has continued to take meetings here today at Trump Tower, including meeting uh, with Oklahoma's Attorney General Scott Prude, who's looking to be a likely choice to head up the EPA, much to the uh, disappointment of many of Pruitt's uh, critics who say he's too close to the fossil fuel industry. Trump tomorrow, Jake, will be heading to OSU to meet with victims and first responders from there. Jake. All right, Jason Carroll, thank you so much.